Well, 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 back again, another late evening. So, you know, a couple of days ago, I was feeling kind of bummed. But then I realized after uh, after a few conversations with uh, with a couple of people that I know, I, I said to myself that I, I need to make this uh, commentary because I think a lot of you guys should need to know when you come up in this industry what to expect. See, that's what I like to do. I like to bring uh, interesting conversations, you know, something that you may not know that you need to know when you come up in this industry. And I learn every day. Every day there is something new in this industry. It is always, 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 always something new that you learn about something. Somewhere, some, somewhere at a place that you might be driving for, you will learn something new about the place where you work for. All right? You just, you, you just know it. Now, whether it's good or bad, it's still a learning or a teachable moment. Let's get into it. Ryan Little. <laughs> Hey guys, Lockout Men back again with another commentary for you this evening. That is what's up. I am your host, Lockout Men. And if you like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, hit that bell and that all button. And this channel right here is geared towards trucking, towards trucking information, towards trucking, uh, whatever you want to call it and i i want to keep it that way i, I want to keep it towards that for the new jacks that's coming in that's looking for any information that they can find they can find my channel the lockout man channel the lockout man podcast channel it don't say trucking in it it don't say lockout man the trucker trucker lockout man none of that I just like it to say what it says, the Lockout Men podcast show. And it's still, you know, my 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 channel still, you know, veers off to the left a little bit and talk about, you know, bring interesting people in or talk about, you know, crazy stuff that that I happen to find on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram or stuff like that. All right, let's get into the commentary. OK, so uh, tonight's commentary is about hours of service man <clears throat> and what the companies inspect of you for hours of service okay now you already know if you're already in the trucking field then you should already know about hours of service uh you should know that the fm fmcsa regulates the hours of service um I could tell you that this this was issued back in 1930-ish, something like that. Maybe a little, I don't know, 30s, 40s or something like that. Maybe the 50s or something like that. But it is an important way for the FMCSA to try to reduce crash injuries or fatigue or, or, or fatigue injuries fatigue crash fatalities involving semi trucks all right they feel that if a driver don't get adequate rest he can cause an accident which has been proven in the past that yes if you don't get adequate rest you will cause an accident or something might just happen now you get 10 hours of rest. That's your 10 hour rest. Eight hours of that, you're supposed to be sleeping. So two hours is 
your free time. Now, a lot of guys, you know, tend to say that the 10 hours is their time. So, you know, guys like, you know, get like three hours of sleep, four hours of sleep, five hours of sleep. You The, the adequate, you're supposed to have like six, uh, maybe, maybe six hours or more sleep. All right. Just to get a good night's rest, especially if you got a full clock that you running out. OK, now your clock is 11 hours. And boy, let me tell you, but oh, oh, wait, 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 hold on. All right. Let me just say this. The hope of limiting the amount of hours that is that a semi truck driver drives are allowed to be on duty and to acquire to uh to get some rest and by doing so it will reduce the fatigue crash related i mean re, uh, fatigue related crash right right supposed to serve two purposes that's that's what the that's what the clock is supposed to do the first purpose is to limit the time they're on task and the second purpose is to allow for them to rest and sleep all right now in mexico and in canada the times are different but here in the states you get eight hours until you actually get a break before your 30 minute break you drive 11 hours so you get eight hours you take a 30 minute break and then you drive the rest of the three and then your on duty is supposed to be 14 hours that's for pre-trips post trips uh uh fueling and all that other good stuff all right now let me break it down before i get into before i get into it the cycle what i just mentioned uh the on duty time is 14 hours all right on duty refers to total hours of 24 i mean within the 24 hour period which in the seven day period i mean which is in the seven day period is allowed uh within that time of on duty you have your drive time which is 11 hours all right off duty time of course which is uh, which is your break, which is your 30 minute break and your 10 hour break and your reset. I forgot, uh, my bad. I forgot your 34 hour reset, which is a 10 hour and a 24 hour. And then that's your reset. Once you reset, you get your whole 70 back and then you, you can start all over again. All right. So let me uh, let me let me just get in into the the drive time and what the companies inspect of you for your drive time. Now, don't take this the wrong way. All right, don't take this the wrong way. Don't get offended. Don't it, this ain't no this this ain't no shots fired to anybody. Hold on. This ain't no shots fired. Hold on, I got to find that button. There we go. This ain't no shots fired to anybody. This is just an ass this is just an assessment that I came across cuz you know, of course, I still talk to all my buddies, all my trucker buddies and all like that. And we all came to the same agreement. All right? We all came to the same agreement. Now, your 11 hour drive time and what the companies inspect of you for that drive time that 11 hour drive time ain't yours it's it's not yours you're a slave to it and let me let me break it down all right maybe maybe, maybe slave is a harsh word okay but let me just hear me out just let me break it down companies inspect you to drive that total hours they give you they give you a delivery time and a delivery appointment um some companies ltl companies uh big companies like prime uh western express you know companies like that they give you an appoint an appointment time sometimes that appointment time is like real 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 tight and 
in order to make that time, that left door got to be closed. So when you get up, make sure you shit shower and shave before you start the clock. Because when you start the clock, that's not your time. That's the company's time. The company is going to inspect you to drive that entire 11, period, period. They, if they give you an appointment that's due for at some amount of time in the morning, they're going to calculate that time to see, to make sure that they get, they, you know, sometimes it don't, it don't work out. Traffic, accidents, uh, constructions, anything liable to happen in traffic. But still, that time, it's being calculated, and that time is not yours. All right? So they inspect you to drive that time. Now, with it, now your 10 hour, they don't care. They don't care what you do on your 10 hour. Hell, you can get an hour, you, you get an hour's worth of sleep. Okay? They don't care what you do. You can go to the movies. You can go, you, you, you can do whatever you want to do on your 10 hour because the 10 hour. And 30 minutes is yours. That's your time. That's your time. That 10 hours and that 30 minutes is yours. All right. Now, within that 10 hours, the truck can't move. All right. The truck got to stay. The, the truck got to stay stationary. So you can't move the truck unless you get kicked off the property or you get uh, or for whatever situation uh, happens you can go into pc to move but you can't move far all right but again that 10 hours is yours but once you once that 10 hour is up that oh wait a minute i also forgot the 34 hours is yours too so you could do whatever you want to do on your 34 hours go to the movies go take a walk on the beach go to an amusement park whatever but when you get back on the clock and you hit on duty, and I'm not just saying the on duty time, which is 14 hours, no. When you hit on duty and start driving, that 11 hours is not yours. It belongs to the company. Say that I'm wrong. I mean, leave it in the comments below, man. Engage with me on this. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Because I, I did read somewhere about that and I, I i talked to a few trucker buddies and they they was <laughs> they was kind of they was kind of adamant on on the conversation that we had you know but um but 11 hours the drive is it and companies inspect you to drive every single minute well i mean you probably might have to stop for reasons but in actuality, companies want you to drive that 11 hours. Maximize your clock. I know a, I know a few of you guys know how to do that. Of course I do. Um, unfortunately, you know, some, in some cases, you know, I have to do some emergency stops. But maximize your clock efficiently. All right. Now, of course, you're not making money if you're not if you're not maximizing your clock, especially if especially if you're uh, a driver that's that's driving on CPM. All right. So maximize your clock and know. All right. And know that the 11 hours part of your clock is not yours let me know what you think about it in the comments below all right that's going to do it for this episode of the commentary lockout men podcast thank you for staying this long man again what do you guys think what do you guys think you know people gotta new people gotta know when they come into this industry that maximizing their clock efficiently 
is going to be a key to how they're going to make money. But they also going to need to know that the 10, the 34 and a half an hour is theirs. But the 11 hours belongs to the company. And they want you with, I mean, they want you to drive every bit of that. All right. All right. That's about it, y'all. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment, hit all that good stuff, man. Um, if you guys got something to talk about, hit me up. I, I welcome the, con uh, the conversations and everything. And don't forget to subscribe to the Bullish channel. Um, I'll get that link up for you uh, in the description below. I may not put it up today, but it will be in there soon. All right, you guys could go subscribe to the other channel and see what the craziness is about. Ryan Little. <laughs>